Hi there folks, Spencer Rimple with the Northwest Company, working for Northern stores all across Canada's great north, and guess what, today I'm coming to you from Arviat in Nunavut. I've been here a little while making friends, and I met a very interesting fellow here who has a long service record with uh, Northern Store, and I just thought that'd be a neat, a neat fellow to find out more about. So folks, please uh, let me introduce Paul. Paul, why don't you tell us just a little bit about, let's start off with How'd you very first get started with Northern? Okay, um, it started maybe, it started in 1978. But before that, I was uh, doing some casual, maybe oh. 1976. Oh, yeah. So I was just a casual for the Hudson Bay Company. And there were two guys that came to my house and asked if, if I wanted to work. I said, sure, I'll work. So from <laughs> there, I'm still here. Those two guys are, still in town, but they don't work here anymore. But I'm the only loner here. <laughs> I've been, oh, yeah. yeah, they asked me if I wanted to work. Sure, I said, yeah, I, I have a little bit of experience before. Yeah. I was working part-time, and they asked me if I wanted to work, and it was the Hudson Bay Company. But now, I, just recently, I was just promoted to fresh, fresh meat and uh, dairy. I used to work in produce and do a little bit of cutting, and so I have a, I had a general idea of what it was. Mm -hmm. I was asked, and I said, "Sure, I can try." And here I am again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul, you got a bit of responsibility with your job too. Like you have, so you have employees that you're responsible for under you that help you help you accomplish your job. Is that right? Mm, yeah. Yep. For sure. There's. Uh, I have three workers. They all work for fresh, and the other one work for dairy. And whenever they're not here, I try to make myself useful. <laughs> like uh, one of my work is on vacation, so I try to do as much as I can to go on the floor oh, or yeah. put stuff on the floor. Yeah, I see. Like you have an office over there, and, and so you have a computer. You're in charge of ordering, making sure all these orders are coming in, where they are, and all of that. Hey, so mm. you spend a bit of time in the office. Yeah, before back then, way back, uh, yeah. we used to order groceries, mm -hmm. and we all used to write them on, like, write them down, write everything down on the paper, put it on the phone, and the, it transmits through the phone, and then on the other side they get the order. Now it's very different. Yeah. When, when you press one, one button and it goes. Yeah. But before it, we have to wait a while. How interesting. So you've been here in this town, you've seen not the and town I've seen, and I the think I've broke. seen uh, three or four renovations from the store. Like there was the, the main store and they renovated it. Oh, yeah. And then a few yeah. years later, they renovated another one. And a few, few, few years later, they we had a brand new store. <laughs> so I've seen quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where were you born? I was born in Rankin Inlet. My dad used to work at the mine in Rankin. Oh, yeah. And we stayed there maybe five years, something like that. But I remember coming to Arviet, but it used to be Eskimo Point before Arviet. So we came here by Peterhead, a big boat. I remember going on the boat uh, here from Rankin, and I guess from from then we we are here always. But before I was working in Northern Store Rankin, maybe a year and a half. My wife had a job there, and I followed her, and I asked if I can work at the Northern Store in Rankin. So I worked there maybe a year and a half in the Northern Store in Rankin. Nice to be able to do a switch like that. Yeah. From here, switch to that one, and then it went back to here. Yeah. Oh, it was good. Good yeah. experience. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What do you like to do in your free time? What do I like to do? Yeah. It's, uh, I like to go out uh, with my ATV. There's, people have lots of, uh, Cabins outskirts of the town, eh? Yeah. Go, just go, maybe go barbecue. Yeah, nice. Well, how's your family? Do you have kids and such? Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, we're doing good. We have, a, we have a, our our eldest, our second eldest son lives in Nekaluit. 
He worked in, or he has a family in there, mm -hmm. in Halloween, mm -hmm. and the rest of our family lives here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, sure. And fine. my boys, I guess I've been here long enough. They were here before, my yeah. two oldest sons. Yeah, they worked here. Or too. My, my three sons used to work part-time here, so. Oh, all right. But I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're still here and you're highly appreciated, let me tell you. You're coming on how many years service then is that? You said to said since 78. Dear, what's the math on that? Maybe probably around, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be hitting 44 next uh, September. In September, I'll be hitting 44. Oh, 44 years. Yeah. Wow. And wow. counting, hopefully, I'll be here long enough. <laughs> but as long as my health is good, I'm willing to. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, it's here. Oh, I've seen you working. It seems like you like working. you got your head down, you're doing this, that, and the other thing, <laughs> running around, working all the time. Yeah, when I'm here, I usually, yeah, you're right, I usually have a, if I have a pacer, I'll probably go maybe 20, 20,000 steps a day, but. <laughs> he knows what he's doing and gets her done. You're a valuable guy here. Thank uh, you. Very much, Paul. Thank you very much. Shake your hand. Right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, that's it from us. Thank you, Paul, so much. What a great interview that was. Well, more of just having coffee with a friend. You've seen it here. Go north. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was fabulous. Let's make sure I got everything here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the lake. Mm -hmm. And that's our cabin.